friends let's start the e learning uh, it's an e learning platform an initiative by science park savitri bai phule pune university let's start our uh, session for standard 8 where i'm covering chapter 17 from ssc board and chapter chapter first and third chapter from cbse board and today's topic is man made materials so sub topics for today's uh, video are first we'll see what are polymers then we'll see what are natural and artificial polymers so we'll zoom in uh, to the plastic which is one type of polymer then we'll see types of plastics as thermoplastic and thermosetting type of a plastic we'll see properties of plastics then we'll see commercial types of plastics and market and their properties and lastly we'll see the latest research developments about plastic so finally we are realizing the disadvantages of plastic and we are becoming more and more aware about throwing plastic here and there and now lots of policies have come uh, to not to use the plastic bags and which type of plastic that we need to use and all that stuff we all know about the disadvantages of plastics so today we will so what are poly polymers do we use polymers everywhere in in our daily chores yes all the plastic materials that we use are majorly polymers so what are polymers so a substance which has a molecular structure structure built up chiefly or completely from a large number of similar units bonded together we have also discussed it last year in science park so you all know about it for example many synthetic organic materials used as plastics and resins are all polymers now let's see different types of polymers first we'll see natural and man made or artificial type of polymers natural polymers are uh, which we derive from nature for example proteins and fibers such as hair nails tortoise shell cellulose in paper and a tree or dna all these are natural polymers now what are artificial polymers these are chemically made by man for example plastic and ceramic material which we generally use for talk about different types groups of plastic and their reactions and chemically how they are Uh, prepared and what are the properties of that okay so all the plastics fall within two groups first is thermoplastics second is thermosettings let's see it in detail thermoplastics are those which can be melted many times there are two types of thermoplastics majorly cellulosic thermoplastics and petroleum thermoplastics now cellulosic uh, thermoplastics are and the chemical which is present in that or the polymer is cellulose acetate or ethyl cellulose in petroleum uh, thermoplastics there are variety of petroleum thermoplastics that we use polyethylene polyvinyl carbonate polymethyl methacrylate pmma polystyrene ps polypropylene and polyamides don't worry we'll get to know all these one by these are all the examples of plastics that we use daily uh, here and there in our daily chores now let's see about thermosettings these are the ones that only can be melted once okay so the melamine is household name everywhere we use melamine utensils it is used um, for example to cover sheets of wood as well then other type is polyesterine so polystyrene polystyrene uh, we also use in the fabric this is a man made plastic its majority it is used in clothes um, at least a little person of polystyrene polyester is used in variety of uh, clothes these are the examples of uh, the type of plastic now let's see this different properties of plastic first is deforming capacity it means that other materials like iron does not deform does not lose their shape so easily as plastic does 
because plastic has more flexibility than any other metals like iron, aluminium, copper that we use daily. Second important property is lightness. It's very light in weight. It has uh, it, its weight. It, it weighs less than other materials. Plastic is lighter than iron or steel or any other metal that you take. And third is mechanic resistance. It means that it doesn't break easily even if it is fall down on the floor or crash with something like other materials. For example, glass. But there are environmental pollution issues and harmful, harmful effects of plastics everywhere and we all know about it. Yeah. So let's see one by one all the types of plastic and let's get to know it better. So let's see important facts of plastics. There are seven types of plastic. Each type of plastic is assigned a number, some variety of plastic are there. So SPI is Society of the Plastic Industry. They have divided different types of plastic in seven varieties. Here I have shown you all the seven varieties. If you observe uh, keenly every product of plastic, there's some number is given there, right? So let's see what is the significance of the number so that you can use this knowledge in your daily application. So it is a classification system. This SPI is a classification system for consumers and recyclers. So they can recycle the uh, plastic and uh, so they can recycle it properly and dispose of it properly. So let's see it one by one. First type is called SPETA. Let's know the uh, uh, full form of it. It is polyethylene terephthalene polyethylene terephthalene is the full form of it. This variety of plastic is widely used in disposable water bottles. It is safe to use as long as it is disposed of within a short period of time. It is because it often attracts bacteria on the surface. Let's see this plastic, this type of plastic is recyclable but is very dangerous. So let's see some properties of this type of plastic. It could cause carcinogens to leach into your liquids. Carcinogens are the agents which can cause cancer in your body. The porous nature of its surface allows bacteria and flavor to accumulate on the inner wall. So avoid re reusing these bottles as make uh, shift containers. This plastic is picked up by most curbside recycling programs because this is recyclable. Now the second type is called as HDPE. Let's see the full form. It is high density polyethylene. It is the plastic that we use for milk jugs, juice bottles, detergent bottles. Products made of this plastic are opaque in color. This plastic type is again recyclable. Let's see if properties. Usually opaque in color, this plastic is considered safe and has low risk of leaching. It is picked up by most of the recycling programs. Type 3 is called as PVC, polyvinyl chloride. This plastic type is durable and used to manufacture pipes, food wraps and bottles that store various types of oil. This plastic type is not recyclable mind it. Let's see the properties. PVC is, although it is tough it term, in terms of strength, it is not considered safe for cooking or heating. PVC contains softening chemicals called as phthalates that interfere with hormonal development of human beings. Very important. Fourth type is called as LDPE low density polyethylenes. We, we saw high density polyethylenes. Now let's see low density polyethylene. This LDPE is safe for human use but not exactly recyclable. It is used to manufacture grocery bags and variety of bottles. Let's see the property of uh, this type LDPE. 
The problem with LDP is mainly an environmental one. It is not recyclable via curbside and other recycling programs. We suggest reusing them as grocery or doggy bags rather than throwing them away after one use. That that is the one thing that we can, uh, I, I mean, uh, to help the environment issue. Uh, type 5 is called as PP, polypropylene. So medicine bottles, straws and variety of cups are made out of polypropylene. It is safe and recyclable. Let's see its properties. It is heat resistance. They won't get wrapped in microwave. It can be used for cooking in microwave. But I wouldn't uh, advise you to do that. Type C, uh, 6 is called as PS, polystyrene, very dangerous. All the disposable cups, plates and containers are made of polystyrene. This type of plastic is considered to feature toxic chemicals and shouldn't be used too often. I, I will say don't even use such type of uh, uh, use and throw type of containers and plates and uh, spoons. This type of plastic is not recyclable. So the major properties are it would be wise to avoid uh, type 6 plastic as much as possible. It is difficult to recycle and only accepted by specific recycling facilities which I am sure that we, we, we must be shortage of in India. Even worse than not recycled, it takes hundreds and hundreds of years to decompose. And the type 7 and others. It's called BPA or polycarbonate. It is very difficult to recycle. This type of plastic is unpredictable. It is used in a variety of items like from DVDs to iPods to sports and medical equipments. There is no guarantee about the safety aspect of this plastic type. That's it. Now let's see some latest developments in the in this polymer type of plastic type of thing that is man-made. We have used it as bulletproof polymers. Scientists at Rice University in Texas have created new super polymer material that can stop 9 mm bullet and seal the hole behind it. This material is a complex multi-block copolymer polyurethane which is a synthetic compound built in a lab. Plastic blood developed by University of Sheffield to mimic hemoglobin for use in trauma situation in accident cases or something like that where blood is needed quickly. The plastic blood consists of an iron containing porphyrin is a complex which is permanently bonded to hyperbranched polymer, dendrimer. It is called as a dendrimer, called as a shell. Third major uh, research and use is in plastic solar cells. So here I have shown you basic structure of a um, uh, solar cell where, where they have used PEDOTPSS. Let's see the long form of it. It is polyethylene dioxythiophene polyethylene dioxythiophene PSS is polystyrene sulfonate. Here you can see this green uh, chip ITO. It is Indian tin oxide type of a glass that is used for connection in solar cells. Okay. Now implantable polymers, medical grade and implantable biomaterials such as peak is used in neurological applications to help control epilepsy, Parkinson's diseases, etc. Commercially, space flights, lightweight carbon composite materials will be crucial in real, realization of suborbital tourist space flight uh, and brain traumas. These are some very important uses of plastic. Then 3D printed body parts using plastic materials such as PMMA, polymethyl methacrylate. Car parts can be printed at home and doctors can produce replica 
like major vital organs like livers and kidneys for transplant in patients now here i have shown you uh, uh, the 3d printed uh, ear which they can uh, trans uh, they can use as the external ear if there is no ear they can use this kind of ear and uh, flexible plastic screens are majorly used all the organic light emitting diodes are replaced on plastic foil to create electronic devices with flexible device displays now recently we uh, we have a phone iphone which has a flexible uh, uh, displays right so this technology will be moving ahead in uh, say in future in 10 years that there will be having flexible uh, displays for TVs and computers and for our mobiles and the major future uh, plastic use is in 2022 FIFA World Cup Qatar Showcase Stadium has been designed to use super reflective triangulated pvc fabric to create a zero carbon sustainable stadium providing comfortable playing conditions that is all about plastic i have shown you both the um, uh, the uses and the chemical details of it and the disadvantages of plastics are like well known we all know about disadvantages and harmfulness of plastic but still there's so much to do with the plastic right Thank you that is it